we will be create the a method in the application class that function will be used to create a channel for the show the notification on the status bar if you not creating the channel it will give the error on rocket to create a default channel for creating a channel we have needed three items name description and importance i have created the notification channel i channel with the global it is a uh, global is a notification channel id we will create the notification manager object for creating a for notification channel we have to call the method from notification manager it is create notification channel and pass the channel object in on create method i have called the create notification channel method now we will be add metadata of icon color and default channel id it will be added in the manifest file i have copy from this uh, data from google docs when a push notification comes and it will be handled by the system then it will be used the metadata print fsafe token on the screen in this uh, next step i will print the fsafe token in locket so i can be copy easily and i will be use this uh, fsafe token for sending the push notification via postman api and i have also print this uh, fsafe token on the screen and so i have for this this uh, fsafe token has been stored in the data store preference and it will be stored in the state preference key and the key is the gcm underscore token i am using the flow builder because the data preferences has been used the asynchronously so i have uh, have we have to use the code routines and the flow is a code written methods and i have uh, collect this uh, this uh, fsafe token as a state so i can easily use in this zpack compose text composable function send push notification i have already uh, copy this uh, fcm token from this locket and paste it here first of all i have uh, sent the title and the body and the data part is the my name is prashant dadpa now let's send this push i have not uh, actually the app is in the foreground then it will call the on message received of this firebase messaging services classes and i have logged this information on that now i put this app in the background now again i have sent this push notification by clicking on the send button because this push notification has been handled by the system because this uh, notification payload contain the notification attribute that's why it is handled by the system
now i am doing the data part i have only sent now only the notification payload on that case the on message receive method will not be called because this push is uh, handled by the system itself and it will not call the on message receive you can see that it is not showing on this clock cat i am sure again you can see this is a bit clear right code for notification on status bar in notification part 1 i have show how to be add the dependencies and how to be configure your project so it can easily handle the push notification because uh, the the notification is not shown in the status bar when the app is a foreground for if you want to show it will show when the app is foreground and it will show on the status bar then you have to be write in a code so i will uh, writing a code i will be use the data payload for showing these data on notification on the status bar for that i have create the show notification method in this method so notification on status bar i have passed the data payload i have first i have create the intent this intent will be launched when user tap on the notification from the status bar in the example i have using the main activity so on that notification click i this activity will be called and the set the flag for this intent put some extra this is intent so when uh, this activity will be called then this data also be transfer with this intent i have sent the title and body which i fetch from the data payload create a request code i am make it uh, unique create pending intent no. i have uh, mistakenly type get activities yeah. it should be get activity yeah. not activities uh, the flag mutable has been used the flag mutable require the api level 31 and more so i have put the if condition and check the version code before using this pending intent if you not using the flag mutable to it uh, give the error on when you have to run this application on the api level 31 for the api level 31 you have to pass this pending intent flag mutable in pending intent now i am putting uh, the condition to check the version of the sdk 
and it will be should it should be greater than from s which is the latest sdk the else part i will use the update cancel now i'm going to uh, correct my mistake get activity now use the notification compact builder this builder will take the context and the channel id i have set and set some properties of this set auto cancel true set content title in the content title i will use the title and it will be get from the data payload in the set content test i will use the data body set priority default i have used the big text style so when the body has large content then it can easily be shown on status bar when you expand it it set the content intent i explicitly uh, define the small icon if i am not set the small icon here then it will be use the metadata of icon let's notify this uh, notification display notification data on screen so when in this step when user click on the status bar then it will send the intent it will call the it will open the main activity and this main activity intent i will uh, fetch the title and body and I, i will show this information on the screen let's pass the intent in home composable method not to set actually in the z pack compose i am using the remember in the mutable state of in this mutable state of i will face the title which i pass from the via the pending intent first check the it has content title or not if it is not contain this title i will pass the empty string like that i will fetch the body now let's print this information on ui it is show the functions so i think so you have to be did you move this curly braces now send the push notification 
only with the data payload it is show on this status bar and when i click on that it will not show in this because of this curly braces i have to remove this curly braces from the mutable state function let's run again and send the push notification again the app is in the foreground state and send the push this uh, this uh, push not notification payload contain only data and it will show on this screen when i click and it will be passed from this intent via pending intent now let's add some notification payload notification payload has two key title and body on background i keep this information different from this data payload so you can easily uh, identify the difference right now the app is on a uh, foreground so it will not show the on background now send this you can see that it will show the on background it means this notification is handled by the system itself so it will use the notification payload and show the title and body and it will not show the date and like when i click on that it will pass the intent and in the intent i have used the data payload thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel please also show my part one of this notification